Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Shamo Monet. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. So we're gonna jump right into it. I have the new Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. This just dropped on January 31st. I went to my Ulta to pick it up. When I got there, there were not any tester shades available. So I don't know if this is going to work or not. I decided to get Filter Deep 35. There are 40 shades, so one to 40 this is number 35 out of 40. i was thinking of getting either 33 or 35 um but i didn't want 33 to be too light and i figured if it was too dark i could probably still make it work versus it being too light but we'll figure that out so this does retail for 20 dollars. it is 0.94 fluid ounces it claims to be medium to full coverage this long wearing oil free natural finish foundation hydrates skin and blurs imperfections for the ultimate soft focus look. It is infused with hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and glycerin. So, again, got the shade Deep 35. Also, I got a free Morphe E63 filter effect foundation brush with my purchase. Um, I'm not sure how long you'll be able to get the brush for free with it, but that was a nice. Perk. I saw that I had it on the website and when I went to the store it was the same so this is what it's looking like it's cute or whatever so we're gonna go ahead and get into it I'm gonna prime my face really quick I just have my moisturizer I'm gonna prime with the Fenty Beauty um, soft uh, yeah soft silk hydrating primer <laughs> All right, so let's get into this foundation. If I could just open it. This thing is in here, like, for real. All right. Lord, I pray this shade works. <laughs> All right, so it is a glass bottle. It's frosted. All right, it's not scaring me because again, I, I didn't want it to be too light. So this definitely doesn't look too light. <laughs> Let's give it a good shake. Does come with the pump and all right, so not looking bad. That's about two full pumps, and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and oh, I think this I think this will work. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side of my face first. If you're not familiar with my channel, I do have dry skin, and I really like skin like foundations. And the center of my face is very yellow and golden, but my neck is darker. So I don't mind for my foundations to run a bit darker um, because I always highlight, like if I'm wearing makeup, I always highlight and contour. And I'm not gonna really worry about getting the foundation under my eye so much because I'm going to, um, highlight there so I'm not really trying to get a full um, like coverage underneath my eyelid um, yay okay so first impressions that match is good I'm glad I stuck with my guns and got 35 I think 33 may have been too late because this is blending out really well so I have the foundation on this half of my face. And this is it without foundation. So 
I can definitely see the coverage. Yes, it's darker, but foundation does even your tone. When you go in a highlight and contour, that'll bring all the dimension back to your face. So I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna take what's left. And it's a little thick. It's a little thick. I'm gonna take what's left on my hand and work that in. And I might actually need a little bit more. Just so I can even it out with the amount I put on the other side of my face. This brush is different from what I typically use. I typically use like a wider brush. But I'm not mad at this. It's dense enough. It has a nice little angle to it. I'm, I'm actually interested to see how it's going to blend once I uh, blend out my highlight concealer and I could really get around these um eyebrows so this is a this is a different design than what I'm used to seeing in the foundation brush um, but it feels good All right, so this is my face with the foundation on. Again, I got the shade Deep 35. And this is literally matching like my typical go-to foundations, Maybelline 360 Mocha, um, CoverGirl True Blend D70. I believe that's Cappuccino. Those are like my go-tos as of late. I've been using the Huda Beauty um, foundation stick and Nutmeg. So it's looking about the same. I'm gonna go ahead Finish off my face really quick, and I'll come back to show you all the finished look. All right, you all, so this is my face. I haven't set it yet, and I haven't put on any highlighter. Well, I set it with powder, but I haven't like sprayed it and set it. So I just wanted you guys to see what my face is looking like before I set it completely and before I go in with any highlighter. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Let that melt in a bit. Where is my fan? Here we go. Perfect. 
add it in a little bit. <laughs> Y'all. Now let me just say, I did not get the first foundation um, that Morphe came out with. Not like a tint or moisturizer or anything, but like the other foundation. I didn't get that. I've never tried it. I don't have their concealers either. Um, but when I saw that Danessa Myricks was the creative director for this launch, um, she was the makeup artist for the campaign. Makeup Shayla was the face of the campaign. Um, I was like, all right, if Danessa is making her skin and these models look like this, and you know, it claims to be a soft focus foundation, it's really focusing on the skin. Um, I was like, I'm gonna give it a try. So that's really why I even went ahead and got this foundation and I'm not upset at it. I think this is definitely a good color match for me. Um, in the summer, maybe I could go like a smidge lighter. But honestly, like I haven't, it's winter time now. It's literally like a whole blizzard outside. <laughs> but, um, cause I guess technically in the summer I would be darker, but I feel like, I feel like if anything, I wouldn't need to go any darker and it could probably get away with like maybe one lighter, but I'm completely satisfied with the shade match looks good it feels good um definitely has some coverage to it i didn't build it up um but it definitely wasn't like light coverage like as soon as i started putting on my face i saw the coverage it blended out great feels very light feels skin like it looks skin like i am not one to set my entire face with powder i like really ever have to do that um, so I did not do that with this foundation. I only set the areas where I put on concealer to highlight and I set my contour areas, but like the whole perimeter of my face is not set with powder, it's just with this spray, but I'm loving this finished look. Let me know what you think about this look, what you think about the foundation, shade match, all of that jazz down below in the comments. As always, if you like this video, please give your girl a thumbs up. If you're interested, if you like the videos, check out what I have. By all means, click subscribe and join my family over here on YouTube. And yeah, let me know if you guys are going to check out this foundation. Again, this is the Morphe Soft Focus, the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. I got the shade Deep 35. Retails for $20. It's a new launch. It is available in Ulta in Ulta's I called mine to make sure they had it but it's sold in Ulta and Ulta.com and um it will be on the Morphe site I believe on the 16th of February so yeah currently the only place you can get it is from Ulta or Ulta.com I hope this video was helpful honestly there weren't like a lot of swatches that I saw out um or anything like that like shade comparison so Hopefully, if you're anywhere near my skin tone, near my shade, I always have um, a list in the description box of foundations that I have and the shades that I am. So hopefully this will be helpful to you if you are interested. And if your Ulta, like my Ulta, does not have testers out for you to swatch, hopefully I can be used as a shade comparison. And I hope that you all are staying safe, healthy, and blessed. And until next time, bye.